Kid, we're on your side getting answers about a social media post claiming migrants from Texas were being bused into Iredell County. Tonight, police are helping debunk those rumors. Thanks for joining us live at 5. I'm Siobhan Bryan. And I'm Jamie Bull. The Facebook post sparked a firestorm online, and we have learned it's not what it looks like. WBTV's Ron Lee took this story straight to police to get answers for you. So, Ron, what did you find out here? Hey guys, I just got done talking with the owner of the hotel as well as the police chief, and they both are telling the same story. This is not what was reported online, and you'll be surprised at what they said. Misinformation was put out there without validating it before they put it out. Statesville Police Chief Dave Only was very aware of the accusations some were making on social media against a local motel. He's been taking harassing phone calls ever since this broke online. You could have had somebody get hurt. There could have been something bad happen as, as because of this. Social media lit up Tuesday after pictures surfaced showing what some claimed were migrant workers being dropped off by vans bearing Texas plates. The accusations claim that these were migrant workers being transported here from the Lone Star State by local government. That was certainly what was uh, the, the assumptions I believe that were being made about the group. The Post said hundreds of workers have been staying at this Ramada Inn off I-77 in Statesville, occupying multiple rooms, which turned out to be true. We've been able to confirm that not only that hotel, but there were several other hotels in the city that had a number of rooms blocked off for this group. But it also turns out, according to the police chief, they weren't part of a caravan. The workers were with a temporary staffing agency here to help. Who was providing hurricane relief support for different parts of North Carolina and the western area where they were hit by Hurricane Helene. The reason why the group is in Statesville and have been for weeks is that this was the closest hotel they could get. The police department even double checked the plates on the cars that they came in to find out where they were going. They have been going back and forth every day to the Black Mountain Marion area. The chief says they've checked all aspects of the case, and at this point, it doesn't look like any laws are being violated. There's absolutely nothing to support any of the allegations that have been reported out there on social media. But some people on social media say the police are masking the truth and you need to come forward with more information. For now, I'm Ron Lee, WBTV, on your side. All right, Ron Lee, live tonight. Thank you, Ron. So we have an update now.